Okay, the other thing, the thing I thought about for chat was was um, yes, last night. Um, well, context. My uh, my other half uh, is a comic book nerd, and has always been since she was well, however old, ten or something. And when I met her, that was something I picked up on. Oh, she's oh she's a nurse. <laughs> she likes comic. Book. Okay, right. Okay, you know that was the th- that was the thing. Um, but I'm not, and I'm self-identified as not, because I, I didn't read comic books as a kid. <laughs> Self-identifying as not a comic book nerd. Yeah. <laughs> That's my, uh, what's it, what do you call it? On, on the sex spectrum, male <laughs> and female. I'm the not, not comic book nerd. Um, <laughs> um, non, non-binary um, <laughs> comic books. Of course I did when I was a kid. I read, I read the Transformers comic, and I remember reading Zoids. Which has Spider Man in it as well, so you know. Um, so it was, it was never my thing, and then obviously now it's it's not it's not a nerd thing anymore. It's just what everyone watches the movies and talks about comics. I'm sure they don't actually read comics though. Uh, and obviously, Comic Con is now a thing to not go to. I never went to one, and now don't want to go to one because they've changed now. They're now just horrible corporate things now. But anyway, yeah, last night I was I actually searched. Let's have a look on my my. YouTube searches Batman history. I searched for the. I watch a video on the history of Batman, and I really thought, where's my appreciation of anything gone? You know, why am I not exploring stuff? I'm dead inside. I've been sucked into this bollocks, and and now it's done something to me. Where there's anything else, you know, what what shall I watch? Oh, I'll watch Gotham. What shall I watch? Oh, I'll watch. The boys. What should I watch? Oh, let's go to the movies. What should we see? Oh, okay. Let's go and watch bloody the new Star Wars movie or, or um, Avengers. Hang on a minute. What happened there? Is that because there's nothing else anymore, or am I dead? Back okay. Back back at university, I I, I did the pretentious sixth form thing and 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 wanted art, <laughs> and 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 it was quite pretentious and you know etc. But I wanted to explore things, you know. That's not happening. I'm just consuming commercial crap now. Why is that? Am I dead? Is it too late? It's probably because in those early years you were sort of like forming your identity. Yeah. Yeah, so you were looking things to identify with. Uh, and it seems like prog you've latched onto. But now you're post 40, Kev. Mm-hmm. You're not forming your identity in the same way. Obviously, your identity always evolves, but the fundamentals are there now. So mm. you're probably not looking for new things to identify with. Yeah. Or if you had more free time, maybe you would, but you've got to balance that with the various roles and responsibilities of being an adult. Yeah. So the only, uh, yeah, yeah. So the only uh, art appreciation is is the easiest to consume. Relaxing stuff where I don't have to think. It's not very fulfilling. Yeah, well, if I give you a similar example of something that went on last night, oh, I can't remember what it's called. That's a problem. I think it's called Take Me Out. So there's this thoroughly depressing program on telly, yeah, called Take Me Out. Paddy McGuinness, yeah, and there's like a load of girls. Oh God! Right, lined up. And then they bring a bachelor down. Yeah. <laughs> so it's right. blind date, but and worse. Like a little bit of an introduction. And the girls have got a button in front of them. Hasn't she got a lovely bottom? Yeah. <gasps> don't say that. No, no, sorry, sorry. Is it? They've all have lovely bottoms. They've got a button in front of them. And if they don't like the guy, they press the button, the light goes out. And then at the end, if there's like, say... One left. One left. He goes on a date right. to this island or something like that. Okay, but they're judging him, so it's not quite yeah, that yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. It's still bad, but it's yeah. pretty uh, and bad. And before that was the chase, which if you're American, yeah, yeah, is a quiz chase. show. Yeah, yeah. only because Richard Herring talks about it. So this went on, and I got to a point. I got to speak very quietly because <laughs> in the next room, <laughs> where I thought my brain was going to explode from tedium, and I just got up. Walked out, walked upstairs, 
picked up a book <laughs> and started reading a book. Yeah. I started reading, uh, it's actually this. I've actually got it on Kindle and I've got the book. Now, the Golden Bow is a very famous Looks book. Looks familiar. Have you shown me that before? Probably. I've had it for years and years and years and I've dipped into it. History of myth and religion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've That's dipped, awesome. dipped into it and dipped out. It's a very famous uh, book. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and go through it. Now, it's very, very long, very detailed. Um, but yeah, it felt good. Yeah. This happened last night. This happened last night. That's strange. That's strange. <laughs> it's, it's time of year. Enough it's is enough. It's, it's um, adjusting to the lack of light and depression and things yeah. like that. And that's what it is. That must be. Telly is. Well, really, really I mean, that's just yeah. But I mean, that's just telly, isn't it? That's just what it's like. Yeah. It's always been like that. Um, but you can read a book in front of the telly. You could do both, and you can and you can think, oh, she shouldn't have said that, <laughs> and she, you can read that as well. Mm. <laughs> Um, so I do know where you're coming from a little bit. What you got to do, Kev, is just literally take time. But you do take time. You've got your room with music and stuff like that. I, know. I mean, music is your pursuit. Yeah, and that takes up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I think I actually I, I I have noticed. You know, um, we're going to also mention this in the review actually. But obviously, my youth obsessions. There was two, wasn't there? There was old computers. And there's music, and, and the old computers thing went by the wayside. And as in my uh, not real uh, midlife crisis thing, I call my midlife crisis. My my wife says she'd rather I uh, just went and had an affair instead. <laughs> is actually bringing back all these old computers again, and that is also time consuming, um, and that takes up all the time. <laughs> so maybe that's the problem. And it's maybe lack I need of time. Yeah, I can't discard the music. That would, uh, yeah, I can't fucking hell. But maybe I need to stop with the old computers, put them away again, come back when I'm sixty. Or when the kids have. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, because there isn't time now. Maybe when that's the way. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now, not so many years. Da, 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 da. Some, you know, I remember someone placed a bet. I think it was like in the early nineties. Saying that Paul McCartney was going to. Have a number one with when I'm 64, when he was 64. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. It's not even that good a song, so it's not a problem, is it? Mm. Mm. There you go, that was actually there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the thing. I didn't, I'm not sure we would be. Mm. Anyway. So you say it's not that good a song, but it's in your head now. It is, yeah. Uh... 